So first up, as promised viewers, we will tell you more as far as the Sardar Sting tapes are concerned because right now as we speak, former TMC MP Kunal Ghosh has reached the CBI office around 10 a.m. And today is the day when he will be face to face with Mamta Banerjee's top cop, that is Kolkata Police Commissioner Rajiv Kumar. Now, this investigation by the CBI is taking place at a neutral place, which was chosen to be as Shillong as Meghalaya's capital. And Kolkata Police Commissioner Rajiv Kumar has been uh, been questioned by the CBI police, we, uh, C CBI team, because we saw the questioning uh, that uh, was going on since yesterday. And today is the day when you have Kunal Ghosh, who has made startling revelations also in the Republic TV sting. And... Serious charges that were leveled by Kunal Ghosh on Kolkata top cop Rajiv Kumar. Now, today is the day in all likelihood that Rajiv Kumar and Kunal Ghosh will be coming face to face. An entire Pandora's box on exactly the Charda Chitfan scam, who was being shielded, who was not, that will come out. Now, the visuals that we are showing to you is around half an hour back at 10 a.m. when Kunal Ghosh, you can see entering the CBI office in Shillong. So today is the day when the joint grilling of Kunal Ghosh will take place uh, before Rajiv Kumar and the serious allegations are as far as Kunal Ghosh to face questioning by the CBI for his alleged role in destroying evidence in the Sarda Chitfan scam. Shavan Sena, senior news editor, is tracking all the developments from Shillong itself, Republic TV being the first channel to get you all the minute-by-minute -minute updates. Shavan, as far as today is the day concerned, tell us uh, what exactly will be happening today. Because 10 a.m., Kunal Ghosh reached the CBI office. Any word that you had with him, what does he have to say as far as uh, he being summoned by the CBI? And this is just by the impact of Republic TV sting that was shown six days back. Well, today is going to be extremely significant because what viewers you want to look at is a joint interrogation between Kunal Ghosh, the former Trinamool Congress parliamentarian, and Kolkata Police Commissioner Rajiv Kumar. Kunal Ghosh, as you rightly pointed out, Amita reached around 10 o'clock this morning. 30 minutes later, you have Rajiv Kumar entering uh, the CBI office here in Shillong. Uh, remember, this is the second day of questioning of Rajiv Kumar. As far as Kunal Ghosh is concerned, remember, he was summoned soon after the sting that was carried out by Republic TV, where he made some startling revelations with regards to this entire Shalda scam into a investigation, where he made this strong allegation, saying that there was pressure on him not to take the names of any Trinamool Party, uh, Trinamool Congress Party leaders, as well as the party itself. Now, the pressure came in essentially from the SIT that was being headed by Rajiv Kumar and was appointed by the West Bengal government in 2013-14 when Rajiv Kumar was heading the SIT. So clearly, having said uh, the kind of allegations that have been pointed out by a Kunal Ghosh, it's going to be extremely crucial as to how he faces Rajiv Kumar and what the CBI essentially takes out from this entire joint interrogation, which would take place any time now, uh, given the fact that both of them have reached the CBI office. What would be the line of questioning, uh, Shaban, if you can tell us, because in the sting that Republic TV had got for our viewers that there were startling allegations that Kunal Ghosh had made on... Uh, the Kolkata top cop, especially when it comes uh, to shielding those probably who have been named from the political party and also destruction of evidence. Well, Amita, not preempting what the agency would be doing, but this is what we have pieced together speaking to a perhaps could be uh, not just the line of questioning, but the larger conspiracy that the Central Bureau of Investigation is trying to unearth at this point in time. With regards to Rajiv Kumar, remember they are focusing on one particular angle, that is the destruction of evidence. Time and again, CBS had the suspect that when he was heading the SIT, there was a deliberate attempt perhaps made by Rajiv Kumar to slow down the entire investigation. Not just that, also... We have also picked up from our sources that the SIT investigating officer is essentially accused of handing over the electronic evidence to the accused, that is Sudhir Singh, to 
question essentially asked to Rajiv Kumar is on what basis were electronic evidences in this case handed back to the uh, accused. Secondly, with regards to the call data records that were submitted by Rajiv Kumar in 2018, the agency suspects that certain entries that were made into the CDR, they have they were they were removed, and this is exactly why we suspect that there was some element of tampering as far as the evidence that has been handed over by the SIT. This is overall what one would have expected the CBI questioning Rajiv Kumar. On the other hand, as far as the joint interrogation is concerned, remember it is going to revolve around two aspects. One, whether at all there was any influence that was exerted by certain political leaders on the SIT as claimed by Kunal Ghosh. And secondly, the red diary that we are talking about, the diary which allegedly belongs to Kunal Ghosh, where he made certain notings, we are given to understand that there that there could be a high possibility that Kunal Ghosh would be handing over certain crucial documents as far as the Sharada scam is concerned. Also, Shavan, yesterday, as you were pointing out or reporting live right outside the CBI office there in Shillong, but uh, yesterday there was a team of police and lawyers who were accompanying the top cop, Rajiv Kumar, who were then later on asked to leave the premises there. Today, what is the situation looking like, as you pointed out, that uh, after Gunal Kosh entered 15 minutes later, Rajiv Kumar also entered the CBI office? Well, as far as... The incident of two Kolkata police officers who were accompanying the Kolkata Police Commissioner Rajiv Kumar as well as the legal advisor to uh, Rajiv Kumar, they were essentially asked to leave the premises on the ground that this was a questioning that was being done in a separate room altogether and there was no need for the officers to accompany the Kolkata Police Commissioner and that is why they were basically asked. Uh, similar situation perhaps also panning out even today when the officer was accompanied by uh, the two other Kolkata police officers, the legal advisor also uh, present. The legal advisor has been telling the media at least that Rajiv Kumar has been cooperating with the CBI, but it remains to be seen whether at all that is what the CBI essentially believes at this point in time, mm. that whether uh, Rajiv Kumar has been cooperating. All right, uh, we'll talk about both in a bit, Shavan. Let's play out that sequence. Uh, when you had former TMC MP and a close aide of Mamata Banerjee, Kunal Ghosh was also embroiled in the Sarda chit fund scam, walking towards the CBI building. Uh, let's take a look when he arrived at the office there in Shillong at around 10 a.m. <laughs> would you be speaking to us after the, after the, after the examination? No, no, no. I have been asked by CBI to attend this office, so I am here. That but, okay. Okay. but but you have uh, you have yeah, made consistent yeah. allegations, you know, uh, you know, for a long time now. Would you be repeating all of them? No comments now. No comments. 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 All along, I have cooperated with the investigating agency. So, I came here to attend this office. That's all.